Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any uh, audio for this? Uh, yes. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is Marilyn, and it is time for the noon edition of Welcome to My World. This is the 25th of August, which is a Thursday. And um, is everybody bored enough? and frustrated enough. This hasn't been one of the market's finer days. There have been some trades um, and, a, and a lot of stuff to stay out of. However, um, the indices are all pretty much on the same page today. Uh, if anything, TF might have been a little stronger than, uh, than the rest of them. Let me move something here. Um, but generally they're about the same. NQ and uh, YM have, have been a little frustrating for uh, people that like that thing because it really didn't, it spent a lot of time jerking people around, I think, this morning. The indices are pretty flat. Uh, they're in a tight range, not inclined to move too much. Uh, the dollar is real, real tight, so we'll just kind of have to see what happens. Uh, the the best trades that I saw this morning were on um, gold and bonds, and they were, you know, the early bird specials. Um, I'll show you on the the bond chart because I know a lot of people have an interest in bonds but haven't quite um, gotten around to it yet. And bonds, you've got some options in, in bonds. You can trade uh, the 30 year, the 10, or the 5. And they're all very, very liquid. The difference is the way they tick. Uh, they tick in uh, uh, the ZB ticks in a in a lot bigger tick size. It's thirty one dollars and twenty five cents tick, but the others are a little more palatable if you have not traded treasuries before. But right here, about um, eight thirty, right here, this thing. I mean, it had red apexes from yesterday and overnight, and um, when it it left uh, settlement right here at 8:30 in the morning, this seems to be what it's real happy doing in the last couple weeks. These trades tend to show up about 8:30. Typically, they do. I've found more trades on bonds that that make a real good entry right around 8:30. Be real careful when there's a whole bunch of news. But once it it got through messing around here at um, settlement, then there was um, a trend catcher uh, entry right here. There was a, a lorry touchback right here that would have made an entry. But there was a nice, easy 10 ticks in this thing, and it, it didn't take very long to get them. Um, in fact, there if you, if you take... Uh, 10 tick take profit. There were other entries. There's um right here at this half deviation is uh, is another one, and it made a couple of. Um, this was a nice touch back here, and it would have given you 10 ticks down. Then when it turned around, once and, and the other thing that that is significant here is this trend R uh, flipped right in here, and the uh, trend. The trend flip flipped. So those, and if you really were not through, right here about 10.30, got another trend catcher uh, entry with a trend flip, right with the trend flip or off of the one deviation with the idea we're going to take it up. This is a lot of uh, traffic zones in here with a big magnet and a mini magnet and a, a 
the EMA and the deviation level all about the same place. So that's when you, if you're profitable, you sure want to tighten up your stop right up at least to this half deviation and see if you can squeeze a few more ticks out of it. But um, that was bonds this morning. Uh, crude oil, the same thing, once it departed uh, a settlement right here and these two EMAs crossed, I mean, this is a, this is a pretty significant signal. Well, I've got a pop-up there. And then uh, at the same thing with gold about, um, oh, it was about 8 o'clock this morning, 8.15-ish. There was a nice 30 tick uh, move on on uh, gold. So um, today is the first all-day meeting of um, the FOMAC folks in uh, Jackson Hole, and they will meet tomorrow also and issue a statement. They're supposed to issue a statement tomorrow. One of the things that's uh, worth noting today is the VIX is moved up over 13, 13 and a half. It's trading 1361 right now. And um, with that moving up, that is kind of letting us know that uh, these indices may be moving down. We'll see what that statement has to say tomorrow. But I kind of watched TF, I mean um, YM this morning, and uh, I wasn't crazy about anything I saw there. But uh, where they come up with some of these unemployment claims is just beyond anything I can fathom. But and core durable good or, goods orders are up significantly today, and it just it's kind of like um, really. So let's see tomorrow what we're going to have in the morning is some, there's some um, U.S. news numbers at uh, 8.30, and at uh, 10 o'clock, Mrs. Yellen is supposed to speak tomorrow, so be, be pretty careful around that 10 o'clock timeline tomorrow morning. Um, I may or may not be here for the noon my world tomorrow because I have uh, I have an appointment I have to take care of in the morning. But um, for those of you who are in the breakfast club and the real early bird folks, at 4 and 4 a.m., there's a lot of numbers coming out of Europe. So you might want to um, check the news tab of Apex for uh, you know, some of the, the trades, Daryl's real good about posting the strategies and the trades and what time to take them and uh, a whole lot of interesting stuff. So check that out. Um, oh, somebody asked in here in the uh, room about um, setting stops and um, they were talking about uh, Nadex spreads. When you have a real good question like that on Nadex spreads, put that question in the forum because you'll get a lot more feedback than you will from uh, people in this room, I think, on those Nadex spreads because that uh, that wasn't an easy question to answer in, you know, one half a second. So that's that's always a good place, and I know that uh, Daryl scrolls through those questions that go in the forum closely, so you might get a, a good response from him, or at least a referral to a post that will direct you to your to your answer. Um, anything else? I think uh, 
Lori did a few minutes in the conference room early, which she put in here because she has another meeting she has to get to. And I think that's about all I see. I, yesterday, if you recall, uh, NQ chopped around all morning and drove everybody nuts. And then all of a sudden at two o'clock, boom, whole lot of volume, really nice trend. So if you get frustrated with these markets in the morning because you just don't see anything you really like, it's not very plain and it's uh, up and down and uh, somebody, I think Jack put in here, this thing was like a Duncan yo-yo this morning. It was just, you know, up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, just go do something else. Come back and... Uh, and check it about 1.30, 2 o'clock and see what's going on. Because oftentimes when it's done that to you in the morning, it'll give you something nice in the afternoon and vice versa. If it's been really, really nice in the morning, um, just call it good because sitting there staring at a chart for a long, long time, you start talking yourself into and out of things. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. Next week, there will be a lot of people on vacation. It's, uh, I mean, including even Apex people, I'm sure. There's not much, if anything, in news um, happening next week. I expect volume to be a uh, little bit lacking. You can sure see the volume coming out of uh, crude oil and um, gold at virtually everything. Uh, bonds, the volume has just dropped off tremendously. So the the volume is a little bit like the gas in the bus driver's bus. If you don't have any volume, the bus driver isn't going to have a whole lot of gas. Volume is the key. So anyway, um, I think that's about it. If anybody has any questions when it's the markets are just being kind of not very cooperative like they are right now, uh, this is a good time to ask questions and get some answers and get sharpen up everything because in the next after the next couple weeks, then it'll be 